I'm here with Amelia Warren, who is the uh, CEO and runs Epicure. Uh, and I'm going to have you talk a little bit about your company. But the last time we sat down, I've been working with you and now with EOS for the last three years almost. And, um, and uh, our last session, uh, we were talking on the issues of whether you should continue with your, the, the planned conference in May or April? In April. April, your, beginning of April, yeah. Beginning of April for, for your conference. And uh, you were going to lose a half a million bucks by canceling the conference and then going remotely. And you made that decision that day before any of this happened. Thank goodness. Yeah, it was thank a real question as to And we got should. our money back too, so it's all good. Oh, did you? Oh, <laughs> right on. Oh, that's fantastic. And so I haven't talked to you since that. That was March 10th. And uh, I'm sitting here going, boy, of all my clients, because I talk to about 50 clients a month. And three of them had breakdowns because of, you know, your employees and their families, they expect you to have the answers, right? So I, I want to talk, first of all, how has, has EOS helped you through this? And how ha and you've talked to me about how you pivoted. So maybe talk a bit about that. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, you know, I mean, having a uh, framework and a rhythm for how you run your business, uh, I think is helpful no matter what's happening in your business. And so, um, we retained our level 10 meetings, um, but we augmented them with daily standups, uh, just given the kind of rate of um, rate of change. Uh, and we also did revisit our rocks, uh, but we had our rocks to revisit. So I think what helps with the OS is you have a baseline. And even if things shift and change, which they did in a huge way, um, we, we could go back to them. Right. Uh, yeah. And then in terms of how we've pivoted and adjusted, I mean, our business... Um, the way that we uh, have typically run our business is through in-person uh, events in people's homes, as well as in-person events and uh, in-person meetings. Um, and uh, so certainly when um, we met last, you know, uh, at that time, we didn't even know what shelter in place, that shelter in place would actually be something in place and that um, people actually would not be able to leave their homes. Um, but what we did really quickly is on the, uh, I think on the 17th of March, we launched a virtual um, event guide so that our consultants who were typically doing events uh, in person could pivot to doing them online. Uh, we launched an ebook on uh, how to wow. uh, cook from your pantry on the 17th, a new collection and meal plan that week as well. Uh, and then, uh, and then two weeks later, launched our Stay Home, Stay Safe, Stay Safe campaign, uh, which was a, a 30, 60, and 90 day meal plans, uh, changes to our shipping rates. Um, as well as a whole social media and field and customer engagement plan. So we pivoted and pivoted fast. <laughs> and just to give people sort of the, I mean, you're, you're in Victoria, right? Yeah. And you, you distribute throughout Canada and North America. How many employees do you have? And then consultants, which are the people, well, explain. Employees yeah, so we've got about um, 175, 200 uh, team members uh, and we're manufacturing, distributing, um, doing the majority of our sales and marketing uh, out of our facilities in North Saanich on Vancouver Island. Uh, and then uh, we have an office in Salt Lake City, which has a smaller team, uh, uh, sort of smaller sales team there. Um, and we have uh, over uh, probably 12, 12 or 13,000 um, uh, independent consultants who sell and share our products uh, across North America. Mm -hmm. And then one more question. Did you realize how much stress you were under? Because I, I've, I've had clients have a breakdown in the last month, in the last six weeks, right? Because things have changed so quickly and these are very competent people. Um, so how, how have you, I mean, there's only one, one thing that causes stress and that's uncertainty. There's never been more uncertainty, right? As, as to what's going on. How have you dealt with the stress and, and what would you recommend to business owners? Mm. Have you, have you known how much stress you're under? Like when you look back now at the last six weeks? I'm, you know what? I've been experiencing fatigue. Like I've been tired this past week, which tells me that it's been significant, mm. right? Because I mean, it's not, it's been needing to pivot and change our business, but then also not knowing what's going to come at you next, just from like our, yeah. you know, the regulatory environment and consumer behavior and just what, like it's been changed on a lot of levels. And then we're also experiencing in our own personal lives, changes, right? Whether that's kids at home, whether that's, um, you know, you're not able to see family plans change all that. So it's, it's, it's change 
all over the place. Um, so for me, what's been really helpful is uh, I'm a member of YPO and my YPO network and community, um, both in BC and uh, part of a network in uh, North America, that's been really, really helpful um, to okay. be able to lean on my peers and to learn from them. Um, so that's been really helpful. Uh, just, um, uh, I find action is a good antidote to uncertain to anxiety. <laughs> so, for, <laughs> so for me and for us, it was like just kind of do it, like just moving quickly on a lot of things and knowing that we we're going to mess things up. Um, but that, wow. you know, ultimately thing, you know, something will work um, and being willing to try a bunch of stuff. And the other thing that's been really helpful for me as well, um, Brene Brown talks about, and you know you're a huge fan of Brene Brown, she talks about FFTs, which are effing first times. Uh, and, uh, and so I just had to <laughs> contextualize for myself and for our entire team that we're just doing a lot of, like we have, we're having, we're doing, it's FFTs, like it's been six weeks of FFTs. And like the nature of doing things for the first time is like they're messy and uncertain and they don't go perfectly. Um, but just cause like, it, but if you, if you name them, it's like, okay, this is what's going on. We're going to learn and we're going to get better. And um, yeah. And then I think also just being transparent with your team and yourself with like, this is hard and, but we're going to do it. And, and, you know, I mean, I, I've always like, what a great leadership is like confronting the brutal facts, but then having like unfailing belief that things are going to be okay. And yeah. And boy, you have it. I mean, I'm just, all, I'm, I'm just always blown away with your energy. You know, you've got a, you've got Mia, your daughter, who's over, you're just over one now, right? And you've got yeah. that going on at home, and you've got this business in the United States and Canada, and just uh, really amazing. I mean, like, always, yeah. And always I want to just, I'm going to interrupt you because I like, and I have, we have the most, I have the most amazing team. Like our team has, I'm just yeah. so proud of how they have like risen to the occasion and. Yeah. just you know been warriors so like super blessed super blessed by our team and they're blessed to have a great leader thanks thank you